What is good people? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Time Crypto with me, Crypto Chris. And on today's episode, we are going to discuss, is there light at the end of the tunnel for terror? But before we get into the video, I'd just like to show you that I'm on my journey to 150 subscribers. So if you do like this content, please, if I could ask you to subscribe to my channel, that would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. With that being said, let's start the video. So breaking news, terror is in talk for a bailout with Swiss asset manager GAM. Swiss Asset Manager GAM Holdings said on Friday is in negotiations with the Terra Development Terraform Labs to potentially support its UST stablecoin. GAM said it could potentially invest between two billion and three billion to burn excess supply of UST as the token gets dumped. GAA intends to help Terra re-establish the UST peg back to one dollar. I've been through this one in another video. I'm not going to go on about how it's de-pegged, but nevertheless there is this intervention coming and the the GAM sees the potential in UST. Uh, Do Kwon said that Terra was considering making UST a traditionally collateralized stablecoin. So if you don't know what that means, that means that there will be a held reserve which will back every single stablecoin one-to-one with the current value of the reserve. So say if that was a dollar in a reserve, so every, every UST will be backed by one physical dollar in a reserve. But obviously that requires far more capital than the, the model that they've got hence GAM potentially seeing the uh, the potential in UST. GAM said in a press release that the key reason behind its support of UST was that it sees potential in the Terra ecosystem. The firm is also placing faith in the UST's algorithmic mechanism of maintaining its peg. The CE, uh, CEO of GAM when black swan events impact markets opportunities blossom we see an opportunity in UST's recent activity and continue to see promise in Terra's broader strategy so listen these have got over 95 billion dollars of assets under management they obviously know what they're doing maybe the it's a bit vulture like that they've seen it absolutely collapsing in itself and the, the, they're now going in for a kill like a vulture taking picking off the bone now and and, and getting getting it at a really cheap price it has been reported um elsewhere swiss asset manager gam looks forward to uh forward to back terry's ust peg will luna reclaim one dollar um i thought luna was dead in the water because if you see to come back to one dollar you can see where where the price is at the moment and it's going to be a hell of a journey to to bring it back and just while they're in discussions as well and they say that they see the potential Terra's blockchain has officially halted to prevent governance attacks. The blockchain isn't actually producing blocks at the moment. And at the time of recording, it still wasn't producing blocks. So to have this vision, to have the belief in the ecosystem while the blockchain has officially halted, while the price of Luna is sub one cent, fractions of a cent, and the, the, the sentiment has gone out of the market for Luna, I don't know whether it's a really ballsy move or it's a genius vision, but these asset managers obviously know what they're doing because they, they have a lot of trust within them uh, with the amount of money that they hold. But again, when you read stuff like this, DeFi protocols declare losses as attackers exploit lunar price feed discrepancy. Venus protocol and Blizz Finance announced that their protocols were exploited due to the di difference in lunar market price and price feed as Chainlink poised paused the lunar oracle so blizz finance have reported that they have lost i think it's around 11 11.2 million dollars because of the price suspension so the oracle got pri uh, price got paused at 10 cents and in the meantime the price of luna absolutely plummeted which led to the uh, exploit being uh, allowed to happen so basically they went on these um DeFi protocols and uh, borrowed Luna at 10 cents and then dumped it and basically they could drain the pool before the, 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 the DeFi protocol was able to pause it. So then you've got all these DeFi protocols that I've also seen themselves lose out through no fault of their own on the Luna downfall. So 
even more sentiment is lost, even more faith in the ecosystem is lost. So to come in and want to put in $3 billion into an ecosystem that has cost other protocols a lot of money, has cost a lot of retail investors a lot of money, whose the sentiment is through the floor as well as the price, it's unbelievable to see, see somebody coming along and wanting to do this. But nevertheless, this could be something that brings it through from this unbelievably ugly period and we could see Luna rise from the ashes and, and get back to what it was uh, not five days ago. But whether that will happen, we'll, we'll wait to see. But we'll, we'll continue monitoring this story as it develops and see what happens. You never know with the blockchain halted and the 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 announcement of, of DeFi's losing out because of the because of the collapse of Luna, the the takeover might not happen or not take over. Their investment might not happen, and it might just go away. And Luna is is doomed to to continue to be in the pits of desperation. Nevertheless, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thanks very much for tuning in. So if you like it, could you please like the video, comment on the video, and even better, if you could help me get to 150 subscribers by subscribing, that would be really appreciated. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Thanks very much. Yeah.